depending on how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had one computer, so the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So. Uh, Work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say. If if you particularly if you're starting a company, um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the. As you've got to make sure that whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It, it has to be really great. And I go back to what I was saying earlier, where. Um, if you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that, if it's an untapped market, or then then uh, you have more ability to, you know, this, this, the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than theirs. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always gonna buy the trusted brand unless there's a big difference. So a lot of times, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's gotta be a lot better. If you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to, uh, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so, depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So, do everything you can to to gather great people. Uh, if, if you're creating a company, creating a company. When I interview someone to work at the company, it would be to ask them to tell me about the problems that they worked on and how they solved them. And if, if someone was really the, the person that solved it, they'll be able to answer multiple levels. They'll be able to go down to the brass tacks. And if they weren't, they'll get stuck. And then you can say, oh, this person was not really the person who solved it, because anyone who struggled hard with a problem never forgets it. There are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. I focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. For example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that, that's the way to go. For, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about, are these efforts that p people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. How did you figure you were going to start a car company and be successful at it? Well, I, I didn't really think Tesla would be successful. I thought we would most likely fail. But I thought that we at least uh, could address the false perception that people had that an electric car had to be ugly and slow and, and boring like a golf cart. But you say you didn't expect the company to be successful? Then why try? If something's important enough, you should try, even if you, the probable outcome is failure. failure. Now, is now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. So, you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that. Uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. So many people tried to talk me out of starting a ride company. It was, it was crazy. One good friend of mine collected a whole series of videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. We're doing these things that uh, seem unlikely to succeed. And we've been fortunate, and at least thus far, they have succeeded. 
really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into.
I provide advice that would be most helpful, and I'm not sure I've given enough thought to to, to that to give you the best possible answer. But I think um, I think certainly uh, being focused on something that you're confident will have high value to someone else, um, and just being really rigorous in making that assessment. Not, not wrong, um, and so I think that 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 physics framework is really where where I learned it, and um, it's very effective for under, for learning counterintuitive things that aren't obvious. Mm -hmm. So you are very famous in saying that failure is actually an option, and if you're not sure. failing, which, that means you're not innovative enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I like failure. I mean, who likes failure? It's terrible. Yeah. But if you only do things that are certain to succeed, then you're only going to be doing very obvious things. Mm. A question that has been discussed over the past couple of days. Should we be considering one trips, one way only trips to Mars? Uh, what's the best uh, approach to, to colonize uh, the planet? Is it, uh, well, what's your view? Is that socially acceptable? Do you think people will sign up to do it? Well, I think there's plenty of people that have signed up for a one way trip to Mars. Um, <laughs> But, but, Maybe but, if I could, we could have a show of hands, <laughs> who would consider such an option? Really? I see some, not many, but perhaps enough for a couple of missions. So it's certainly, <laughs> certainly be enough. Uh, I mean, I think it's sort of like, is, is it a one-way mission and then you die? Or is it a one-way mission and you get resupplied? That's a big difference. <laughs> We're for the second option. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, I mean, I, I think it's a, it ends up being a moot point because you, you want to bring the spaceship back. Like, these spaceships are expensive, okay? If they're hard to build, <laughs> you can't just leave them there. <laughs> so whether or not people want to come back or not is kind of, like, they can jump on if they want, but they need the spaceship back. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird, like, it was like, huge collection of spaceships on Mars over time. We like, <laughs> it's like, maybe we should send them back. I mean, of course we should send them back. Now, with Tesla, your goal has been to make a better car. And you've done that with an electric vehicle that people covet, that has quite a cult following, um, that's upgradable. Um, but you also want to achieve, and your turn of phrase is very nice, um, or, or try to achieve this platonic ideal of a car, right? To uh, reach yeah. perfection. So what does the perfect car look like? 
Well, I mean, I do, I do use that phrase with our engineering and design team that aspirationally um, we're in pursuit of the platonic ideal of the perfect car. Yeah. Um, and um, who knows what...
forever confined to one planet until some eventual extinction event, however far in the future that might occur, um, or do we want to become a multi-planet species um, and, and then ultimately be out there among the stars and be among many planets, many star systems? And I think the latter is a far more exciting and inspiring future than the former. Um, and, and Mars is the next uh, natural step. Um, in fact, it's the only planet we really have a shot at, at establishing a self-sustaining city on. Um, and, uh, and I think once we do establish such a city, there will be a strong forcing function for the improvement of spaceflight technology that will then enable us to uh, establish colonies elsewhere in the solar system and ultimately extend beyond, the, beyond our solar system. Um, and, um, and so there's the defensive reason of uh, protecting the future of humanity, ensuring that the light of consciousness is not extinguished uh, should some calamity befall Earth. Uh, but also, and, and that, that's the defensive reason, but personally I find the more, the, what, what um, get, gets me more excited is, is the fact that this would be an incredible adventure. Mm. I mean, it would be like the greatest adventure ever. Mm. Mm. Um, and it, it would be exciting and inspiring. And there need to be things that excite and inspire people. Yeah. You have to be, you know, reasons why you get up in the morning. It can't just be solving problems. It's got to be, yeah, something, something great is going to happen in the future. Yeah, we talked about this at length yesterday. It's, it's not an exit strategy or a backup plan right. for humankind <laughs> no. when Earth fails. Right. It's also to inspire people on Earth, yeah. right, and to transcend and to think, to go beyond our. Um, mental limits of what we think we can achieve. Right, I mean, you think of sort of how incredible the Apollo program was, and just, yeah. I mean, if, if you ask anyone and say, name, name some of humanity's greatest achievements of yeah. the 20th century, the, the Apollo program, landing on the moon, would, would in many if not most places be number one.